Good evening. One small New Mexico community is already preparing for legal pot sales in the state. And one of their biggest concerns may surprise you. Here's News 13's Jamie Seymour with that story. Jamie. When it comes to setting the rules for cannabis, Corrales Council leaders say quality of, quality of life for residents is top of mind ahead of sales. Like many New Mexico communities, Legal Pond is on the radar of leaders in the village of Corrales. The ordinance that we passed at our last meeting was, was merely a, a, a preemptive attempt with the information that we had at the time to kind of protect the quality of life here in Corrales. Last month, the village council approved a basic cannabis ordinance with items like requiring facilities not to be close to schools or daycares and even having proper HVAC systems to prevent the smell from spreading. Now the council is digging deeper into how they can govern the effects of the marijuana industry, primarily how much water is needed when the state is already low on that precious resource. In a village on uh, only septics, we have to we have to pay attention to that sort of thing. The council also pointed out the village does not have an industrial zone where they can confine grow operations so that they're away from homes. So it must be treated how other agricultural operations are ran. It can't be treated differently under the state law as far as to where it can be growing. Some community members say they're worried about the effect of pawn operations on public safety. The council says it's something they have to consider for future rules. A lot of residents are really worried about uh, the cannabis coming into the village. Uh, a lot of um, possibility of you know having a facility right next door to your residence. So far the village has only received one application which would be for a dispensary. Still the council says it needs to be prepared for other operations that may come in. I think as a village you know we have to be kind of proactive on how we regulate this. Like I said unfortunately we didn't get a lot of direction uh, from the state so we're trying to do what we can. Just a few years ago, a cannabis ban was shot down in the village with a compromise limiting pot farms and shops to the commercial zone. Back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you. Amendments discussed tonight will likely be voted on during a future council meeting. The next one is set for September 28th.